Hello, my name is Sergeant Djordjevic and I'm working in the Cadence Munich office supporting European customers with the usage of the security tools. So what I will show you today is the usage of security tools, system SI tool for the simulation of the automotive internet. We'll also speak about the EMC simulations using our Power SI tool. So automotive internet is a communication standard which will be in the future used in all car communications. You will see ECU to ECU communications going over automotive internet. Data rate at the moment is 100 megabit per second, but next generation will be already one gigabit per second. Why is that a special standard? Why is automotive internet a special standard compared to the normal internet that we meet every day in the normal usage? Basically, is a cable a problem? So normal internet cable would be too expensive for the usage in the cars, and uh, in the cars we have the usage of the unshielded twisted pair cable, and the problem if we would use a normal NRZ um, communication standard, so just two levels, one and zero, it would be too much of radiation over the cable in the car. So that means that's the reason that it's PEM3 modulation that you can see here introduced in the automotive internet. You have three levels of the signaling. It's a PEM3 modulated signal and basically, so what we show here in this uh, simulation, you can make complete system simulation from ECU to ECU uh, using security tool chains. For example, here at ECU1 block, that's something that we uh, extracted using our 3D finite element solver and hybrid solver from PowerSI and put as parameters of the Ethernet routing over the first ECU board in that block. Then we got assembly package to connector assembly from our package and um, uh, cable and connector uh, partners. And basically, in the form of S-parameter, we introduced that model also in the simulation. The second ECU, we have extracted also using uh, Cadence Security, PowerSI and 3D finite element solvers. So we have complete channel and uh, we are able to simulate it. You of course know that attenuation of the channel is so big that basically we wouldn't see a good eye at the receiver if we don't introduce a special digital signal processing techniques which our five providers are doing in the real hardware. For example, pre-emphasis, de-emphasis on the transmitter side, or let's say PGA, DFE, uh, clock data recovery on the receiver side. What we have done, we have introduced and programmed industry standard IBCMI model, which is describing exactly digital signal processing techniques that five providers are doing in the hardware. So I will just show you, if I switch off the receiver digital signal processing techniques, I will be closed. So very simple, I will just come here and close and say disable and run channel simulation again. So we will see that after running the channel simulation, eyes closed because we don't do any more uh, digital signal processing techniques on the receiver side. So all this kind of the modeling, so we have done in the C code, all this kind of the procedure, because let me explain you how simulator is working. Only once tool is doing analog characterization of the channel and getting the pulse response. After that, you can push a million bits through the channel and it's just convolution between million bits and these digital signal processing blocks that we call IBCMI that we programmed in the C language and compiled for the Windows usage. And you can see here that I is closed if we switch off the receiver block. Then in addition, we are not just focused on the system simulation, we can help to tier one customers to really clean out their PCBs, ECU control units uh, in, in, to, be order, uh, to be able to pass the EMC test uh, for the first time. You know, when they go to the EMC testing, they just get information, test is not passed, you have problems at this or that frequency. So we can help them using our simulation tools to see where on the PCB levels radiation are coming and to reduce those radiation. So that's basically shown here. You can see after power SI simulation, you could see that the radiation directly on the PCB level, on the top at the bottom level, you can go back exchange, improve layout, re-simulate and try to reduce all kinds of emissions and pass the EMC test for the first time. If you would be interested to find out more about the security tool usage in the automotive world, please visit our site kids.com/automotive. Thank you.